With the gas prices soaring, many people are now thinking about making the switch to an electric vehicle. And this morning, 8 on your side is taking a look at what needs to be done to meet the increased demand for electric vehicles. 8 on your side, Xavier Harris spoke with an electric vehicle expert about the issue. Good morning. Good morning, Chris Avery. Right now in the state of Florida, there are over 58,000 registered electric vehicles, but there are only a little less than 2,500 charging stations. And right now, Florida is one of the least accessible states in America to charge your electric car. Now, researchers at the University of South Florida and officials with Tampa Electric Company say the state of Florida is one of the fastest growing markets, which raises concerns if the state's infrastructure can meet the demand. Man. Now, researchers with USF say as of now, we can keep up with the current demand for electric vehicles. However, they know they don't have much time to wait for the demand to grow before adding more charging stations. But we do realize that they are coming quicker. Uh, now there's more manufacturers are offering more and more models. Um, people are more aware that electric vehicles are available. So we see that the next vehicle purchase that someone makes um, has a good chance of being electric. Another issue researchers fear are the unknowns when it comes to electric vehicles. For an example, during hurricane season, if we lose power, there are concerns that folks won't have a place to charge their cars in case they have to evacuate. Now, in just a few moments, I'll tell you a little bit more about that, so stay with us. Live in Tampa, Xavier Harris, 8 on your side.